documentary we'll be talking about the historic importance and economic importance of Camden Town, current social and economic trends on Camden, SWOT analysis, flavor of its cultural and political importance. In April 1965, the London Borough of Camden replaced the former Metropolitan Boroughs of Amsterdam, Auburn and St Pancras. At the edge of Borough lies Camden Town, named after Charles Pratt, the first Earl Camden, who started its development in 1791. Camden Town began life as little modern and handful buildings beside a main road. Camden's town expansion as a major centre came with the opening of the Regent's Canal to traffic in 1820. Many streets were changed when new housing developments and schemes were introduced in the 1960s. The conversion of Camden Locks wharves and warehouses on the Regent's Canal to craft markets in the 1970s ensured Camden Town's future as one of London's top tourist Baby, I'm playing on you tonight Hunt you down, eat you alive Just like animals, animals Like animals, moles Maybe you think that you can hide I can smell your scent for miles Just like animals, animals Like animals, moles Baby, I'm playing So what you trying to do to me? It's like we can't stop, we're enemies And when we get along Just the skill of it. I can 
Sorry, are you with them? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Are you recording? Yeah. So should I be like normal? Yeah. yeah. Normal. So be natural, guys. <laughs> Hello, I'm trying to be natural. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that we are street performers. We have been traveling all the world doing street performances. We are a group of five people, and we are all from Brazil. We are actors. So we have playing the Mad Hatter Sea Party here in Camden Town, The Wizard of Oz, and a lot of classicals from the from the theater as well. So it's just plus team. Right. Camden Town they have a policy. Uh, so you can register with them if you if you are allowed to bus on the street. If you follow what code the phone do. So that's what we're doing here today. People can join us, take pictures and make donations. That's how we keep supporting ourselves. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Camden has 24,400 businesses, the second highest figure in London after Westminster. Camden generates over £20 billion of GVA annually, equivalent to 1.6% of the UK's total GVA. Businesses and jobs are mainly concentrated in the south of the borough, which is a part of London's Central Activity Zone. London's Central Activity Zone contains 30% of the capital's jobs and is projected to accommodate 36% of the London's job growth. Business services firms such as advertising, real estate and consultancy supply account for half of all businesses in the borough and 37% of all local jobs. There are 3,000 700 cultural and creative industry firms in the borough, employing around 40,600 40, people and representing 16% of all local jobs. The borough generates an annual visitor spend of £1.2 billion. Key destinations and attractions include Regent's Park, Camden Market, Convent Garden and the Brit British Museum. 59% of jobs are in knowledge-intensive industries, the second highest proportion in London behind the city. Camden businesses generate around 275,000 jobs, providing almost two job opportunities for every resident of working age. Around 2,000 businesses in Camden register for VAT every year. When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? Darling, I will be loving you And baby, my heart could still fall as hard at 23 And I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways Maybe just the touch of a hand Well, me, I fool Honey, now Take me into your loving arms Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars Place your head on my beating heart I'm thinking now All but gone and my memory fades And the crowds don't remember my name When my hands don't play the strings the same way mm, I know you will still love me the same Cause honey your soul could never grow Baby, your smile's forever in my mind and memory I'm thinking about how people fall in love and... 
Halloween Town is a sea of entertainment. It overflows with a variety of colorful markets, shops, restaurants, bars, pubs, clubs, theaters, and cinemas. The town attracts enormous crowds of Londoners and tourists alike. Camden Lock Market by the Canal was the original craft market established in 1974, but now has a much wider spectrum of goods on sale. Both this and ever popular Camden Stables Market, center of the alternative fashion scene, Camden, which is on Bog Street. The recently improved Camden Lock Village and Ivernest Street Market, which thrived on local trade long before tourists discovered Camden, are all open every day, making the area well worth a midweek visit. But it's at the weekend that the market scene jumped fully into life, with all stores and shops at the market fully trading. The indoor fashion market at the Electric Ballroom opens on Sunday only. There is always something special happening in the center of Camden Town. Multitude of shops and restaurants spill out onto the busy main street. Days in Camden start slow and easy and in the evening the theaters, bars, clubs, pubs and restaurants continue to swing until at least 11 p.m. SWOT Analysis The Strength of Camden Town Increase in economic activities in local area Generating revenue for local government and country Source of employment for local people and for those in the other parts of the country Tourist attraction area due to its history Easy transportation to and fro the market from any part of the country. Weakness. Increase in crime, e.g. petty theft. Rowdiness. Environmental pollution, e.g. large quantity of rubbish from local markets and noise. Opportunities. Could attract international businesses could be expanded to contain more businesses. The threats. Disasters such as fire. Increase in crime, which could reduce business activities and tourist attraction. Unfavorable government policies could see businesses fold up. Or so there's a lot of tourists here. Businesses fantastic all year round. We have a lot of tourists here, and because it's very vibrant, very young crowd here, so it's, uh, it's a very nice place to be. Here. Do you have any historical value? Did you add any value? <laughs> the, the actual market itself used to be obviously a stables for horses, in terms of like a hospital for horses, you know, a, a knackered yard. But it's from what it's evolved into is a, is a very vibrant young environment where a lot of uh, <coughs> new talent comes in terms of fashion, in terms of uh, you name it. You know, it's, it's a very uh, interesting place to be. In. What challenges have you faced? Here? Yeah. Uh, the challenges that we face are actually making sure that the a lot of people keep coming regularly, especially tourists, uh, and making sure that uh, the management actually go and advertise uh, in the right places and make this into a, a very vibrant destination for a lot of tourists and locals to come from. And uh, maintaining the, the, the ethos of what the market's all about, which is what it is at the moment. Negative impact on the market? To what? Here. To people, generally, to visitors, tourists. To visitors, there is no negativeness. 
uh, in terms of the environment, um, the local people is actually bringing a lot more business uh, for the council, for the local people. The new management is actually obviously building new hospitals, got new schools locally, uh, revamping a lot of things here and making the, the market a bit more higher, if that makes sense, more higher. So yeah, overall it's actually a positive thing, not a negative thing. There, there's nothing negative I can think of that uh, market bring it to the environment. Or, or to the here. Okay. Um, because there, there used to be in the past an element of drugs and things like that. And that's all been slowly being removed now. So the new management obviously putting a, a very you know, firm foot on this. And there's a lot more police around, there's a lot more things, and a lot of the drug dealers are realizing this is not the place to be for that type of environment. So that's all being moving out. So it's becoming a, a very hip place to be. Thank you. Flavor of its cultural importance. Whilst there is no borough museum in Camden, the council runs a number of events throughout the year celebrating histories of groups in the borough. This includes a full program in October celebrating the Black, African and Caribbean community. And in February for Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual and Transgender Month. For half a century Camden Town, the centre of Camden has been the centre of alternative culture in London, be it punk, goth, EP or emo. The area is home to large market selling, an extremely wide range of products from glowing t-shirts to jeans doors, mostly from independent stores. With some of the capital's most varied cuisine, great live music and anything goes attitude, Camden is one of the most vibrant and interesting of all London districts. Flavor of its political importance. At the local election on 6 May 2010, the Labour Party regained full control of Camden Council. The new council is made up of 30 Labour, 13 Liberal Democrats, 10 Conservatives and 1 Green Councillor. The organization is divided into five directorates, housing and adult social care, children, schools and families, culture and environment, central services which include finance, legal and strategic and organization development, chief executive department. This is that ice cold Michelle fight for that white gold This one for them hood girls, them good girls, straight masterpieces Styling, wildin', living it up in the city Got chucks on with Saint Laurent, gotta kiss myself, I'm so pretty I'm too hot and a fireman, I'm too hot Make a dragon wanna retire, man I'm too hot Say my name, you know who I am I'm too hot And my band bought that money Break it down Girls hit you hallelujah Girls hit you hallelujah Girls hit you hallelujah